All right. In just a few days, uh, we are talking about more than 2,000 people who are expected to fill the Seattle Gas Works area. This is all to raise awareness for breast cancer. And making strides against breast cancer celebrate survivors while raising money for the American Cancer Society. So we are here and we are joined in studio, fortunate enough to have a couple folks in here talking about this event. So we'd like to uh, welcome in cancer survivor and volunteer Janet Bradshaw and event manager Aubrey Zoli. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thanks for having us. Let's talk about this event. It's a huge thing every year. Uh, you're making strides every year, and we're seeing more and more people come to this event. What uh, is the key purpose to get out of this year's event? So a big thing for us is just to bring together our breast cancer community in Seattle. So we welcome breast cancer survivors, thrivers, which are those living with metastatic breast cancer, and we also welcome caregivers and families and even pets. We have a Bark for Breast Cancer doggy costume contest as well. That's, that's amazing, and we know that there's all sorts of breast cancer out there. There. Stage one, two, three, four, metastatic, one of the ones that needs a lot of research. What do you, you say to folks picking and choosing places to get involved and donate? So the American Cancer Society is actually the top funder of cancer research, second only to the U.S. government. And so I encourage them to be to learn more about ACS and the different programs and services we provide. And we're actually funding a lot of research right now specifically for metastatic breast cancer. And talk to me a little bit, Janet, about your involvement in the event and, and how you're feeling about this year going forward. I am new to the strides um, as a volunteer. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2016. Um, I was living in Ellensburg, working for Central Washington University in a rural community. And I had a lot of um, challenges um, with, my, with my diagnosis um, and some issues that happened medically. And so I've decided to use, instead of getting angry and upset about what happened, um, I'm trying to use all of that for the better. So um, previous to being involved with STRIDES, um, I'm an advocate for American Cancer Society um, with their CAN program. And I wanted to be more involved with this, the breast cancer survivors and sharing my story with them. And so. how can you get more people involved Along with sharing your story, what can they do to participate? People who are looking in on the outside who may not have uh, any connection with breast cancer but find themselves drawn to a situation like this. They can they can um, join the walk. Um, they can and and I feel like everybody is connected to cancer somehow. Mm -hmm. um, and if they want to use their voice um, to make. A, different, a difference for other people, they can definitely do that. And some of us around, uh, you know, the area, especially the Pacific Northwest, rain or shine, have come out to these events. How many people do you expect to come out to an event like this? So we're expecting about 2,000 to 2,200 people this year to fill Gasworks. How does that make you feel, deep down, both of you, uh, being survivors or event planners, getting the message out to them, knowing that people do care? There are so many things going on around our community, but this event really makes a difference. I think it matters to people because it gives them an opportunity to be involved in some way and to have a voice when sometimes people don't feel that they have a voice and we definitely have a community of people who have been directly impacted myself included my mom and my aunt are both survivors but we also have people that just come out because they they have a passion for volunteerism and they want to be involved in that way and the truth is if people don't have a connection to breast cancer now unfortunately chances are in their lifetime they will right especially here in the Pacific Northwest where it it runs so high what are some of the donations and and things that y you look forward to whether it's the time the volunteership or how much is enough to donate? I mean, no dollar amount is too small. So $25 can help support people. $50 can help supply a ride to treatment for people who don't have access. Um, so we have a lot of programs and services that the American Cancer Society supports in addition to our research. So $5, $10, $25, whatever yeah. you can, those, those amounts add up. And this Friday is National uh, Mammogram Day. Mm -hmm. How important is it, you know, last question here, to do this and not forget about it? Absolutely. Unfortunately, the pandemic really put a damper on our screening, and we're looking at an additional 10,000 cancer deaths because of people that missed their screening. So National Mammography Day is coming up this Friday on October 20th, so make sure that you schedule your mammograms. Try to get in before the end of the year, if not early, the beginning of next year, to catch that cancer early if you should find something. There's just so many more options. For sure there is. Stay ahead of it. Well, thank you both so much for being here today. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is happening this Saturday at Seattle's Gasworks Park, and I'm sure the place is going to be packed in support of this.